Hello everyone, welcome to Geek and Mag. After installing the checkpoint update, for example, currently KB50 43080 required September 2024 update. If you try to install a cumulative update using a MSU package by double clicking on it, it's possible that installation will fail with error message that is operation is not supported. This happens when you have installed a feature on demand or language pack from a local source and your system isn't connected to Windows Update or WSUS. In this video, I am going to share complete information about how you can install these updates manually after installing Checkpoint Update without seeing the error message. Before that, I am trying to hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to the channel as this encourages me in creating more similar videos. For your information, Checkpoint Updates are important cumulative updates like KB50, 43080, that act as a baseline for future updates in Windows 11. After checkpoint update is installed, all the future updates rely on it being installed correctly until the next checkpoint update is released by the company. The purpose of checkpoint updates is to make Windows updates smaller. Now that you are aware of what checkpoint update is, let's learn how to download and install updates manually after installing the checkpoint update without any error message. First, you need to reinstall all the cumulative updates that were part of checkpoint starting with the one that gave you trouble. For example, let's say it's the September 2024 update KB543080. Head over to the Microsoft update catalog and search for the same update. Once the update appeared in the search results, click on the download button for the MSU file based on your system architecture, whether it's 64-bit or ARM64. Dialog box will open listing all the required MSU packages. These packages contain a MSU file for the latest update and MSU file for any cumulative updates of the checkpoint that were released prior to this update. Right now Microsoft has released first checkpoint update and no future update has been released yet. That's why you are seeing link to download this update only. But in future you will find links to other MSU file in this dialog that has been released after the checkpoint update. Save those files to dedicated folder on your computer like C packages and make sure folder is clean no other MSU files. Now here is how you can install those updates. Just head over to the C packages folder or the one you have created and double click the MSU file in order starting with the earliest one. Keep doing until you have installed all the updates. This is the easiest method that everyone can follow. Apart from this, you can also use DISM tool to add the MSU file to your system using a command add windows package to install each MSU file. You can find more information about this here. Once all the updates are installed, your system should be good to go and that annoying operation is not supported error will be gone. So that's all about this video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel to get notifications about more similar videos. Thanks for watching.